you are listening to the voice of the gospel a proclamation of the holy gospel by wisdom ministries february 17th ash wednesday the holy season of uh, lent begins today onwards let's begin this day with the blessings of god a reading from the holy gospel according to saint matthew chapter 6 verses 1 to 6 and 16 to 18 beware of practicing your piety before others in order to be seen by them for then you have no reward from your father in heaven so whenever you give alms do not sound a trumpet before you as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets so that they may be praised by others truly i tell you they have received their reward but when you give alms do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing so that your arms may be done in secret and your father who he sees in secret will reward you and whenever you pray do not be like the hypocrites for they love to stand and pray in the synagogues and at the street corners so that they may be seen by others truly i tell you they have received their reward but whenever you pray go into your room and shut the door and pray to your father who is in secret and your father who sees in secret will reward you and whenever you fast do not look dismal like the hypocrites for they disfigure their faces so as to show others that they are fasting truly i tell you they have received their reward but when you fast put oil on your head and wash your face so that your fasting may be seen not by others but by your father who is in secret and your father who sees in secret will reward you the gospel of the lord praise you lord jesus christ dear friends today is ash wednesday and is a very important day in the life of the church because this is the official beginning of uh, lent today we are also going to receive ashes and in a few minutes during the holy mass the ash will be blessed and imposed this psalms and branches are symbol of our faith in christ to whom we renew our baptismal promises during the easter vigil celebration the church receives the expressive right of uh, imposition of ashes from an ancient Jew- jewish tradition for the jews pouring ashes on the head was a sign of a public sorrow and repentance there is right is not a private affair it is a community act ash wednesday is also a joyful celebration of the triumphant entry of jesus into jerusalem and this is mixed with the the sadness of our recognition that we are not worthy to have jesus enter into our souls but god gives us today another chance to return to him to return to the beauty and the innocence of our presence baptism upon receiving the ashes the priest and the other ministers say turn away from sin and be faithful to the gospel with these words jesus gives us the guide to reach the goal of this season which is repentance first is the most obvious one prayer as friends we have to do things together like be in each other's presence and talk some applies same applies in our friendship with god for sure the most important is what we are doing now we practice in the mass it is the greatest prayer because it renews jesus sacrifice which opens heaven to us second fasting as when this day is a day of fasting and abstinence every generation of christians fasted until about 1960 we need to return to this practice at a very minimum we must follow the rules of the fasting and abstinence during the day a third is alms giving fasting in itself is not good at all times fasting only becomes good 
at all times when it is accompanied by the third practice alms giving in other words the food that we will not eat today let's give it to somebody who is poor and hungry this is the way of fasting but personally honestly do not give immediately to every person who shows up and asks for help we don't to be to we want to be a good steward by using resources to the best help others we do it mainly through charitable institutions that help as best as they can the needy people yes st john chrysostom said that after we have satisfied our own basic needs and of those we are directly responsible for all the rest belongs to the poor lent is time to look at the time things we spend our money on lent is good time to get rid of some of the clutters in one's room and of one's life we will receive each one of us a black cross on our foreheads it reminds us that soon we will return to dust and lent calls us back to basics prayer fasting and alms giving let's turn away from sin and be faithful to the gospel how do we want to use this all our time for god amen may god bless us